They want me to feel, but I'm still getting blessed. Smoking on pressure, but I'm gonna go press. I'm gonna set it for more. I like the summer, I came with the heat. Call like the winter, they call me the breeze. My name the breeze. I'm from Houston, Texas. My name, uh, the way I came up with my name, the breeze. So basically, my name Brianna, which a lot of people don't know. They know me from socials. My name Brianna. Um, people call me Bree. So I was like, I need to come up with a rap name. I can't just be, you know, Bree. I need some type of something. So I asked my mama, I'm like, mama, what should I name myself? She was like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, let me start thinking. I was like, breeze, 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 breeze. And people call me Bree Bree. So I'm like, okay, what can I do with Bree Bree? Can I turn that somehow into something like loud? So I'm like, Bree Bree, the breeze. Like, Bree Bree, two breeze, the breeze. That's best man, I see you great. If it seemed like everybody coming out of the city for something. Like Houston is the place to be, bro. Houston, that city, bro. Houston motherfucking Texas, how like for real. What is we talking about? Man, we gotta do better as a city, bro. Uh, I feel like we should be doing way more for each other. Cause these other cities like surpassing us. Atlanta. Everybody putting each other on. It's like people get people get game and shit. Like they don't give that shit back. They hold that shit. They, uh, but we gotta do better for sure. Cause we we got some of the most talented people who come out the city. Uh, I started making music when I was young. It's like I was always writing like little poems and shit. I don't know why. I used to like be a big R&B fanatic. All I used to listen to was like old school, 90s. Like, after a while, I started getting into rap. So people inspired me like Lil Wayne, J. Cole, uh, Kendrick, Drake. I love music. It's just, music is great. I also ghostwrite and engineer. A lot of people don't know that, they think I'm just an artist or a rapper, but yeah, I go try to engineer for people. It's like, I just want to create, create something great. Like art is, I love art, being able to express yourself. And I feel like music helped me find myself. Like, only way I could do it was through music. Anything else that didn't work, music is my passion. And yeah, that's what I want to do. I feel like when you're passionate about something, they grind different, bro. They grind way different other than, well, rather than you just doing shit for money. Because, like, okay, you're going to get that money, but how long is you going to be on to where you can, like, hold that shit? You can sustain that shit. But passion, bro, it's like you do it without the money. Like, fuck the money, I'm still doing this shit. That's passion. And that's the type of people I'm, I want to work with. So I got an EP coming up called Do What I Want. I'm going to have five songs on it. And I'm going to have probably another EP. Well, an album. I'm going to have an album come out uh, September 9-9. Day for my birthday, 19. Virgo season. So watch out for it. 9-9. I'm dropping an album called Introspective. And the EP, Do What I Want, that's just to put some, you know, fun stuff out. Because right now in my life, I'm just having fun. I'm doing what I want to do until the day I die. I'm just live my life. I'm no fears, nothing. I'm going all in. So that's really what that's going to uh, symbolize. So um, I'm currently building a studio from scratch right now. Uh, it's crazy how that came about, cause uh, I was doing a video, my video, do what I want, and my neighbor, he seen everybody outside, you know, the camera, the cars. He was like, wow, like he was so fascinated. So he was like, you know what? I want to invest in you. I want to help you. I'm gonna build you a studio. 
and when I tell you that's that came from God, bro, because I was already planning on getting the studio, but it was going to take me a little longer. But he's like, I'm going to build it for you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You just get in there and work. And so I want to build, well, I'm, I'm right now I'm building a team and a label. So, because I feel like I want to share this blessing with other people. I don't want to just, you know, have it by myself. I want to bring people, you know, together. Because I feel like if everybody works together, that's how we all come up, everybody. I feel like I have a good support system. Uh, starting with my parents, my mom and daddy. They, they send they video, my videos to they coworkers, friends, all day, bro. And I have a solid team. Everybody, most people I grew up with that's around me, they support me. And I, I appreciate that to the max, for real. Um, so for my last video I did, Giving Them Hell, uh, I actually, I listened to the song a couple times and I'm like, what can I do? I don't know what to do to like bring the song to life. Cause I feel like if you have a good song, you gotta have a good video. And I don't like to just wrap it into the cam camera shit. I don't, I'd rather just tell the story with the visual. I want to bring my visual. And my brother on the song, so he was like, shit, we can talk to a therapist. I'm like, therapist? First I was like, what? I was thinking some other stuff, some riding in the car. Like, I kind of mixed my vision with his. Like, because my vision was being in a car, you know, when you in a car, you vibing by yourself. Like, it's, it's like I'm vibing by myself to my song. And I'm like, I feel, I'm feeling that hope, like, deeply, like, everything I said, I feel. So that's where I mixed our visions together. So I added some of that and some of his, and boom, we created something good. One of my mentors, they say that they know me, don't know what I've been through. They ain't see my ambition to see my potential. I miss what we had, that don't mean that I miss you. I made a mistake. I added my own twist into the concept, because it's like, I felt, when I listen to the song, I'm like, okay, representing myself, I'm speaking for myself. First, I was thinking like a courtroom or something, but I'm like, with all this stuff going on, I can find some other type of way to get my point across. So it's basically like, I came up with the concept like representing myself. I speak for myself. Like nobody else can't speak for me. That's the concept. Talking to a therapist, you like, I'm going through all this, but I'm speaking for myself. I'm telling my story. I'm that being uh, an openly gay gay artist. I don't feel like it's nobody's business. Like who I lay down with in the day, that's that don't have nothing to do with nothing. My music, like, judge me based off of my music. I represent myself. What, what the fuck I do, don't judge me by it. I can do, I'm, I do what I want. Like, I don't care what nobody else think, what nobody else say, I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. That's just that on that. Networking is important because building those relationships it's going to work out, like, it's going to be harder for you to do shit on your own. Because you, it's like, in the music business, you have to have connects. So, like, you, somebody got to be connected to this or that. Like, if you just feel like, oh, I'm going to do all this shit on my own, nah. It's going to take you way, way, way longer. It's better to find people with the same mindset as you. And y'all just work on... Yeah, we all got the same goal at the end of the day, so it's like, why are we not doing this good? That's how I feel. Out the mud, it's like, I got this shit, like, out the good, it's like, I ain't, I did it on my own. I did it on my own. Out the mud, it's like, you building something from scratch, like, you not hopping on somebody else's wave, you creating your own wave. Nah, it's it's how you. I feel like coronavirus. Uh, it's just how you look at it. Like some people scared, you know, they don't want to live their life. They just like fuck it. I'm staying in the house. I want to do something like, especially towards you know music and stuff. Like if I stop now, like if I let that shit stop me, 
I'm not gonna go nowhere. So nah, I ain't let coronavirus stop me. It, it kind of made a little shit, some shit harder, but it, I ain't let it stop me though. I kept going, but I'm, I'm still working though. I'm still working, I'm still doing music videos. I'm still building my portfolio up, my music. Like I'm trying to be ahead of the game. Like that performance stuff, that's cool. But it's other ways, you know, I can get my work across, more content and shit. So I ain't gonna just rely on that. It's consistency is key, bro. It's, cause as you keep doing it, you get better. Cause if you do it and you just give up on it cause it's hard, like it's not gonna work out. You gotta keep doing something. And like so many, so many people show you consistency is like, Key. Like it helped him. First of all, V King, he been doing this. He he didn't give up. He kept doing this. He been doing this for ten years, bro. Ten years, and it paid off. Like it pays off. Consistency is major, for real. On Instagram, my Instagram name is the Breeze. D A B R Y Z. The Breeze on all social media platforms. So search me up. Okay, right, so. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Shout out to Out the Mud. Shout out to my team. Shout out to everybody who doing their thing, perfecting their craft. Y'all keep going, because that shit gonna pay off.